Okay, welcome to Space Invaders tutorial part eight. Let's take a look at what we've got. We've got five invaders, look like red circles. They hit the wall and they all drop down. We've got collisions working and we've got, yeah, kind of a basic game going here. Uh, one thing missing you'll probably notice is scoring. So let's uh, get that uh, up and running. So the first thing we need to do is we need to basically you know, set the score to zero. When we start a game, oops. So basically it's gonna keep it real easy, score equals zero. Okay. Now, uh, again, we're using turtle graphics, so we need to be able to draw on the screen. So we're gonna say draw score. So we need to create a pen. Now I could use this border pen again, uh, it wouldn't, wouldn't be a problem. And it's probably actually a smarter idea to do, but this I like to separate the code in case there's something we need to change. Um, so I'm going to take score pen. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to be doing this over and over again. Copy that score pen dot speed. Uh, we want it to be as fast as possible, which is zero. We're going to draw it in white. Again, we don't want the pen to draw anything, so we're going to use pen up, and we're going to set position to minus 290, 280. So it'll be just inside the playing area. So now what we need to do is we're gonna create a little score string and it's gonna equal score colon percent s so that's, that'll replace whatever we put and percent score with a string. So now we're gonna use the write method. So we're gonna write the score string But false, I can't remember what that's for actually, sorry. <laughs> Line equals, we want it to the left. Font equals Arial, quote, comma, 14. I'm gonna use 14 point and normal. Okay. So that's one more time. Score pen dot write score string. False. You have to check at the turtle docs. I'm not sure what that one means. I forget now. Um, align left. And the font we're going to use is Arial, 14 point and normal. And then what I want to do is I'm going to hide the turtle because we don't need to see that. Okay, so let's take a look and see if we've got a score on the screen. Okay, so you can see we've got score zero. And now if I shoot, okay, score stays the same. So we gotta think about where in our program do we wanna change the score? And hopefully the answer will come to you pretty quickly. We're gonna do it when there's a collision between the enemy and the bullet. So let's find that section. Okay, so is collision bullet enemy? So we'll say update the score. Okay, so if we shoot the enemy, let's say the score plus equals, we'll get 10 points. Okay, And then we'll do the same thing, score string. I could just copy it, but score percent s, percent score. And actually, I, I will just copy because I don't feel like typing that again. So let's go back up to here. So I'm just gonna copy that back down okay it's all right and one thing I need to do is before I well let's say let's just run that I'll show you why so if I run this okay missed naturally okay score is 10 that's 20. Now if you look up here, you can see how it's getting kind of garbled. Because what's happening is we're printing score zero on top, or 10 on top of score zero, score 20 on top of score 10 on top of score zero. Okay, so what we need to do is before we actually write that, we need to score pen. We need to take the pen and clear it. That will clear anything that that pen has drawn. Actually, that's a good reason not to use the border pen. So we don't want to erase the border. Let's run in terminal. Okay. 
Okay, score 10. I'm going to miss that one, I think. Okay, and score 20, and so on and so forth. Okay, so it's pretty simple. And we're just, again, we got to think about, you know, when you're thinking about programming, you know, under what circumstances do we increase the score? So hopefully that's when the bullet hits the enemy. So it's got to be indented inside of this if clause. And it's pretty straightforward. Uh, but again, make sure you clear it before you update it. That's that.